everybody, Chris here. We're going to take a look at Dogecoin's price prediction into October and all the way to the end of 2023. Give an update on that. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel. Hit that little notification bell. You can be notified when my new videos come out, as well as when I do live streams. We were live late Friday night and talking overall about where Dogecoin stands in terms of uh, its place along with other cryptocurrencies. We'll get into a little bit more of that as well in this video. And if you aren't subscribed and you don't have those notifications on, you don't want to go live. We had a good long chat last night and someone left a comment like, this video is too long. Well, where have you been? We were having fun with the people in the chat and just talking about Doge as well as, you know, fielding some questions on other cryptocurrencies because I like a diversified portfolio. So if we want to talk about Chainlink, we'll talk about Chainlink. We want to talk about ETH, we'll talk about ETH. Algorand making moves as well. All good because we have a portfolio that's diversified and I am looking to share the profits from that portfolio with you by paying you Dogecoin. That's right. I am going to give away Dogecoin. And the only way you'll find out about that by tuning into the live streams. So let's get into this though. Uh, 6.2 cents for Doge right now. Uh, had a, just a little bit of an uptick from last night, but here's Bitcoin trading up over 27,000. Uh, ETH making a move up to 1680 and Algorand making a nice move this morning up over 1040. Algorand's got a long ways to go to make its recovery. And then we'll talk about Solana and Solana in this run, which I think is fake, but you never know with cryptocurrency. What we're going to be talking about is an AI forecast for Dogecoin. What is the price going to be at the end of 2023, according to this so-called AI? We've talked about Changely and other, we'll talk about Changely's again in a minute, but here we have Despite the extended bear market, Dogecoin has been able to keep its position among the 10 largest cryptocurrencies by market cap. Total value, 8.7 billion, has its supply of 141 billion Dogecoin. And what is the forecast for the end of 2023? Well, it is challenging for a number of reasons. We don't know when a pump is gonna happen with Doge because that's how Doge trades. So, Ah, uh, the leading meme coin, favorite cryptocurrency of the richest man on earth, Elon Musk, continues to offer an interesting opportunity for crypto traders and investors around the world. As we approach the final quarter of the year, starting October tomorrow, Finbold has turned to Coin Codex's AI-powered price prediction algorithm to gauge Dogecoin's price trajectory by December 31st, 2023 especially given its current year-to-date gain of just about 2.5%, in which the artificial intelligence predicts that Dogecoin's price will be 15 cents per Doge, representing gains of 150% from the end of 2023's forecast, which was 5.9 cents. Originally, now they're saying 15 cents. But there will be a slight loss of value from current prices. And here's their little chart predicting that Doge will most likely have a dip sometime in October, but then go on a nice run at end of the year, being at 15 cents and maybe a continuing pump up into January of 2024. So that's their price prediction. And we had looked at this site before this changely site i've shown this before in videos and live streams and in the short term in october they're predicting a couple little dips in october particularly in the middle of october where doge could drop down to five and a half cents so we're keeping a little cash on the side just in case that happens to be able to buy some doge on a bigger dip now get not financial advice, not telling anyone else what to do, but that is one thing that just keeping on the sidelines, just in case. Here is a view of this Coin Codex site looking at their AI powered price prediction. And they also have this dip here into uh, the middle of October. So 
just keeping a little bit on the side. But how is Dogecoin trading compared to other cryptocurrencies? And we hinted this last night in the live stream. But here, when we look at how Doge is trading compared to others, we scroll down on this Coin Codex site and we can see that year to date, Dogecoin is, well, it's now down 12% year to date. Compared to Bitcoin, it's down 46% because Bitcoin is actually positive year to date. Dogecoin down year to date right now, and ETH is also up year to date. But if we go back and we look at, at the 12 month returns, right? Go back from a year ago, Doge is actually up 2.4%, and the Doge Bitcoin pair is eh, still down a little. But if we look in more recent, like three month return, Doge is actually up compared to Bitcoin and up bigger against ETH. So it all depends on when you buy it and compare it when you compare these. So so you can you can cherry pick which number you think is a better a better number to look at. But overall, yeah, uh, it depends on when you, when you buy it, when you're buying it, when you're looking to buy it. I mean, we look at the three year return, right? Three year return. Dogecoin is up 2,200%. That's an 830% larger gain compared to Bitcoin. So again, it all depends on when you buy. So if you're looking at, well, how is Doge going to compare against others? We have this article, right? Cardano or Dogecoin? What's the better buy at the moment? Well, this is in the Cardano feed website. So you know what the answer is going to be. But they go through this and they look at, well, a little bit of the history of Doge, what Doge is about, you know, and what sort of moves Doge's price. Pretty much they're looking at the Elon Musk factor. Potential integration could expose Dogecoin to X's 500 million users. That's right. If Dogecoin is integrated into the X Twitter platform, because Elon Musk now owns that. The community has been buzzing about that, and the potential is there. So I think that's what's helping keep Dogecoin's price above six cents, is this and this alone. A lot of people just aren't selling their Dogecoin. Vibrant and active Dogecoin community, um, that is all good. In stark contrast to Dogecoin, Cardano provides a tangible utility in the crypto market continually aiming to improve, potentially surpass Ethereum's capabilities, especially in sectors like NFTs and DeFi. Cardano currently tops the list of potential Ethereum killers, but it has its challenges. Recently, the SEC has called it a security, which has kind of, kind of hampered uh, sort of its perception overall in trading. And with Cardano trading down below 25 cents, its market cap right now is really close to Dogecoin's. And in fact, we take a look at coin market cap and we say, well, what are the top you know, 10 currencies? Well, here's Cardano at number seven now. Wait, what's this Solana? Solana has now surpassed Dogecoin based on this little 5% pump here over the past 24 hours. And it is about to actually also pass Cardano as well. Again, I think this is short-lived. I think Solana has all sorts of challenges ahead of it, particularly with FTX still owning so much of the Solana supply that is going to be sold off over the next few years. That's going to be a challenge keeping Solana afloat. So I think this is an artificial pump for Solana. Again, just my opinion of it. So Dogecoin is now ninth. But we know if Dogecoin goes on its own little pump, it'll be back up to seventh above both Solana and Cardano. That could easily happen. So overall, looking at Dogecoin's trajectory forward, Dogecoin's going to be you know, ready for a pump at some point in time. Again, my price prediction that I made back in January at the beginning of the year was going to be 12 cent Dogecoin. This AI is looking at 15 cent Dogecoin. Let me know in the comments below what you think the end of the year 
price prediction is for Dogecoin. Again, we may still have a little bit of a dip in October, but at some point in time, Dogecoin is going to go on a run like we've seen it before. Again, not guaranteed, not financial advice, but that could certainly happen. So again, let me know in the comments below and give the video a like. And as well, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do. I appreciate the support. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.